yeah, welcome to this uh, small excursion clip on pivot tables, uh, because right now we've, or up to now, we've talked primarily about corpus data, but here is an application from perhaps from experimental linguistics, where you would want to make sure that very complex cross conditions are evenly distributed across um, uh, participants, for instance, right? And you can use the pivot tables for that as well, right? So here you have um, an example and I've um, hidden all the uh, irrelevant columns where I have two lists, A and B, um, and I also have complexity that I varied for um, a verb, so high frequency verbs, highly associated verbs, that kind of thing. Details won't matter, uh, but I want to make sure that um, every member or every participant that is assigned to list A gets the same amount of high frequency and highly associated versus high, low, and so on and so forth. So that these crossed uh, conditions. So I can go to insert, uh, pivot table, click OK, new worksheet larger and I'm interested in lists so I drag that to the rows and then I want to make sure that I've selected the right number of um, items with high and low association and I drag the, um, the variable down here to the sum and I see that in my condition is that participants in groups A and B receive the same amount of high frequency or highly associated and high and lowly associated um, verbs. And I could do the same thing for uh, corpus frequency and I could even do uh, the same for both. So that I can see that this all evenly distributed. Now I can use the pivot tables to check if that's not the case. So I suppose for um, purpose of illustration I delete these two rows uh, both from A um, and they have a bit of a different distribution here. So if I deleted these rows um, and I go back to my pivot table, that deletion doesn't automatically update, right? So pivot tables do not automatically update. So you have to go into your pivot table and do a right click and then say refresh. So that deletion that I just did is now reflected. Um, okay, to make this a bit more... Um, a bit easier to see um, those two rows that I deleted for group A, which included um, both a high and a low frequency item, kind of tells me, oh, okay, so there's something going on. Group A will get fewer items than group B. Okay, so it can also save you a lot of time and it makes it a bit more structured um, when you're doing experimental stimuli.